We have reached the divisional round in the 2014 NFL playoffs. The first round was unbelievable. All four games were instant classics. And to top it off, last night we had the BCS championship game, which was just geez, one that we will never forget. One of the best college championship games we will ever see. So, we have now made it to the divisional round. All four winners are fucking hot coming into this next round. And that's what makes this round so great is you got, you know, the four great teams from the, the regular season. And then you got the four winners from the first round that are all feeling good about themselves. Yep. They're all hot. And now they all collide. So, this is going to be a hell of a weekend. This is probably the best weekend in football. So... Can't wait. Um, the first game we will talk about today is going to be the New Orleans Saints at the Seattle Seahawks. Now, the Saints had to travel to the Philadelphia Eagles in that opening round. Somehow, they pulled it off. Nobody thought they could win on the road, but they did. Yeah, I mean, we had, I think, all picked Philly to win this game uh, we did. last week. And, uh, I mean, for good reason. I mean... LaShawn McCoy has looked like one of the best, next to Jamal Charles, has looked like the best running back in the league in the past, you know, five, six weeks. He's been actually pretty much all season, but lately he's been tearing it up. And then you got Mr. Nick Foles, can't do no wrong. He's been amazing this year. He's been absolutely tearing it up. They got good receivers. We thought there's no way the Saints have a chance. You know, the Saints were missing uh, Vaccaro in this game, who was a big part of their success in secondary. Mm -hmm. and looked like it didn't matter. Yeah, it looked like it didn't matter because it, well, we weren't expecting that. You know, New Orleans, they did well. Um, they, they were really good at um, keeping Philly's explosive offense off the field. The Saints had mm -hmm. more time of possession. They stayed on. They had a great ground attack. They had a good passing. They had a good yeah. mix. And, uh, you know, hats off the Saints. Mm -hmm. They're looking like the team that we thought they were earlier in the season when yep. we were thinking they were going to go to the yep. Super Bowl. So I yep. think both teams were evenly matched. Uh, I, I really wasn't surprised by the last second field goal by the Saints. I mean, that's just the way they, they have to do it on the road. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a really a great game. Uh, they, they contained little Jimmy. The Eagles' defense really did a good job of that. Yeah, he didn't win the game for him. That's for sure. It was, it was pretty much Drew Brees in the defense. Saw an emergence of Mark Ingram coming back into the running game with great game. Thomas being out. Mm -hmm. Yep, of course, that's right, Justin, um, and then, of course, Kyle yep. uh, with Mike, and I'm RJ here with Trippy Commentaries. So the Saints somehow go on the, ro uh, go on the road. They fucking beat the Eagles, like I said, the favorites. Everybody here at Trippy Comms picked the Eagles. Justin, did you pick the I picked the Saints. You picked one. the Saints. Okay, good call. Good I call. felt like their defense really stepped up this year with uh, Rob Ryan coming in as the defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how, how does Jerry Jones let that guy go? Like... <laughs> like, how do you let that guy go? I mean... Well, he needed to hire Monty Kiffin, right? Yeah, that worked. That worked this year. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I really saw that the, the Saints defense taking a step forward this year. I felt like they can contain the Eagles offense, even though it's, you know, high speed, high power, a lot of deep plays, mm -hmm. with Riley Cooper coming through a lot now. Yeah. I think the bottom line with that game is the, the Saints defense showed up. They really held the Eagles defense, or I'm sorry, offense in check for the most part. Deshaun Jackson didn't really do much. He did break out at the end of the game when Keenan Lewis uh, left with an injury. But, you know, the Saints defense was able to keep him close enough to where, you know, the offense could come in and, and sneak, a win at, um, sneak a win out at the very end of the game. Um, Nick Foles, definitely impressed with him. Mikey, he got three touchdowns, so he pulled through. Yeah, Nick Foles always comes through, but you know, I guess uh, yeah. you know the Eagles didn't win. The Saints were the better team, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they're still in the playoffs. So the Saints move on. You could never discount face. Drew Brees. Never yeah. discount Drew Brees. Yep. Absolutely, exactly. and it's only right that he moves on, and uh, he will move on to a familiar location for him. He'll travel to Seattle, where he faces the Seattle Seahawks. Tough matchup. Yes, I think we all remember that game where Marshawn Lynch officially became beast mode mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much ran over the entire Saints defense. Caused the minor earthquake <laughs> in uh, Seattle. Yeah. Yep, and uh, of course the Seahawks won that game. Um, that was a big upset even though they were at home because they had won the division. But uh, this is a different game. Um, the Seattle Seahawks have the Legion of Boom. Uh, great defense. Russell Wilson... Um, and, of course, the New Orleans Saints come in very hot. 
Yeah, I can't wait to watch this game. You got the number two um, passing um, offense in in the league mm -hmm. going against the number one pass defense in the league. Yep. Um, obviously with Seattle, and then with with the Saints having the number one uh, passing offense. I can't wait to see that. I you know these are the matchups you look for in the playoffs. These are the the two best teams I think right now in the NFC going at it. You know, winner of this is going to the NFC Championship. The thing is, it's in Seattle, so we yeah. know how Seattle's crowd is. We know how loud the stadium gets. It's breaking records and shit. Um, You're dealing tough with the place weather. to win. Dealing with the weather. We'll, we'll see how the weather is, but I mean, Drew Brees. To me, he relies on being on the same page as all of his players. He makes calls. He's, you know, he's that field general like Peyton Manning is. In a loud stadium like this, it's definitely going to affect him. Here's the question. Okay, this is the million dollar question to me. Okay, we just saw the Saints win in Philly. Tough place to play. Ruthless fans, cold weather. Does this mean, does this just eliminate all, you know, every what everybody was saying that they, they cannot win on the road? Does that eliminate that? Because if it does, then that makes them, you know, their offense is going to probably come through in this game if they can handle that road atmosphere. If they want to win on the road, first they got to start stop Marshawn Lynch, okay? Mm -hmm. They they contained LaShawn McCoy pretty well in they the did. the game last weekend. Yeah, let's, let's see what they can do against Marshawn. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it was a big win for the Saints, and maybe that's going to propel them forward. I just think this Seattle defense is is way too tough. Um, you know, we'll see if any of the wide receivers for the Saints can step up because right now Saints receivers are looking pretty shady. You know, we got you got Jimmy Graham, which everyone knows about him. So mm -hmm. Definitely, Seattle is going to key in on him, and then. Who do you got outside of that that is really that good? Colson dropped off this year. We don't even Colson in the first half of the season can't even mention his name. Like what happened to this guy? Is he even playing? Yeah. Lance Moore, sneaky, every once in a while comes through. Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills, he's fast, he's explosive, but he's young. He's, he's very not young. running good routes and he's dropped passes. So, you know, in that situation, Drew Brees is definitely gonna be struggling mm -hmm. against this. He's gonna have to rely on those guys to make big plays down the field. Yeah. If you don't have Kenny Stills or Lance Moore catching a fifty yard touchdown at any point in this game, they're not going to win. Yeah, and I, I think another thing comes with the Saints is they're going to have to establish their own game early and have to keep Absolutely. it going throughout the game. Because like how they beat Philadelphia, they kept Philadelphia's offense off of the field. Right. I feel with Seattle, you keep their offense off the field, they're going to come in. Marshawn Lynch is going to not. He's not going to be in a. He's not going to get in a rhythm. So you're going to shut him down just like they shut down McCoy last week. And then you're going to have you know Wilson who's not going to be able to get in the rhythm as well because that's what kind of quarterback he is. He, he's about making big plays. He's got to have something big happen to get him into a zone, and then from that point, he's good. Yeah. So if you, if you can keep him off the field, keep him out of sync, you, know, you have a chance to win the game. But it's going to be very tough against yeah. this Seattle team. I could see the Saints you know, running the ball a lot with uh, Ingram. Uh, it seemed like they were doing that towards the end of the year and uh, last game too. And, yeah, Pierre uh, he Thomas, looked, He looked a little questionable. explosive, so... Um, you know, it's going to be interesting seeing if they can establish the running game with him and uh, get something going there. You know, he did look Both explosive. Open. He did. He looked. He looked pretty good. He. Uh, I think he's just waiting. He's been waiting for that opportunity. Right. Right. Yeah, he definitely looked hungry. Um, one thing I think we need to note about this matchup is the Seahawks defense, which everybody knows is one of the best in the league. Um, you know, Legion of Boom. Uh, they are the number three defense against the tight end. So they're very good against the tight end. The Saints' best weapon is little Jimmy, Jimmy Graham. Uh, but that said, <laughs> Jimmy Graham didn't have the best game last week, and they still pulled it off. So, But one thing to note on Jimmy Graham is that Jimmy Graham on turf is a way better receiver than he is in the grass. And I don't know what it is. But if you look at it, games that he plays on and grass outside, mm -hmm. it is he is he's not half the player he is when he's on mm -hmm. on turf and on some type of fake grass. Now the Seahawks do have a turf. It'll probably be a little bit more uh, slushy, I guess you could say, than than most field turf. But um, I guess the Seahawks do have a turf for what it's worth. But then again, they have a hell of a defense now. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this game. Um, I'll start off. I gotta say, my X factor for this game, and the reason why I'm gonna actually pick the Seattle Seahawks, is Percy Harvin. So the Seahawks have Percy Harvin back, and I think that's a complete X factor that the Saints aren't ready for, and probably most teams in the NFL are not ready for. I think that's gonna come out because 
you know, we talked about Marshawn Lynch. You know, they have a lot of mid-level receivers, Doug Baldwin, Golden Tate. These guys are good. You know, every, every NFL team wants Golden Tate. But to me, Percy Harvin coming back is going to give Russell Wilson that added weapon that he needs. I'm going with the Seattle Seahawks. Justin? I'm going to have to go with the Saints in this one. I just see Rob Ryan's defense coming together, containing Marshawn Lynch, mm -hmm. preventing big plays down the field of Golden Tate, Doug Baldwin. And uh, I could see the, the Saints edging out maybe by a field goal. Wow, close game. Okay, Mac, man, who do you got? It's a tough one, man. This is, these are two, like I said earlier, the, what I feel is the two best teams in the NFC. Um, it's, a, it's a shame they have to play each other this round. You know, it would be nice if they were able to play each other in the uh, NFC Championship. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I look at, when I look at big games, I look at the quarterbacks. I look at Russell Wilson. I look at Drew Brees. I feel... Which quarterback can come through in his team? Russell Wilson's proved it already that he can do it. Obviously, Drew Brees, it's a no-brainer. He can obviously do it. But then you look at where they're playing at, and Russell Wilson has the advantage there. Now, one thing I found interesting here is that Drew Brees is fourth in the league in big passing plays. So, Doesn't the surprise Saints me. come through with big passing plays, and how do you shut a crowd up? A big play. Oh, yeah. Big play shuts crowds up. We're automatically, you get that, you get that early, mm -hmm. shut him down, I got to go with my man, Drew Brees, he's a proven wow. winner, he's going to come through and win this game, Saints had the week off, I always feel the teams have a week off, they, they come in starting slow, they cannot come in starting slow because if the Saints get up on them, that crowd's going to be out of it, mm -hmm. alright, you need, the, the Seahawks would have to come off, and they have to come off strong, and uh, with New Orleans, I mean, another thing with Seattle, they are, I think, last in the league in giving up sacks. They give up like 9.5 sacks a game. Russell Wilson, very elusive. Very elusive, but Saints defense is very good. Defense line is very good. You know, we got Cameron Jordan coming off the outside, who was big last week. He's gonna, he's quick. He's going to get on him. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm definitely going with the Saints. Yeah, I got to say, if the Saints can shut that crowd up, that's a hell of a co of accomplishment yeah. because that's one of the most ruthless crowds mm -hmm. in the league. And good luck shutting the Seattle Seahawks crowd up. Mikey, Miguel, who are you taking in this one? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm going to have to go with the New Orleans Saints. Wow. Three of the four of us are going with the Saints Another on the road. On the yeah. That's um, trippy. Uh, Seattle is a great team. I'm going to say it's going to be extremely close. But uh, like Kyle said, that big playability, I think they're going to get a big play. And then... Uh, mm -hmm. Just run the ball and, you know, just keep it even and uh, eventually win the game. I I think it's going to be a really good one, but mm -hmm. I think they're going to pull it off. I don't see as many playmakers on the Seattle's offense as I do on the Saints offense. Right. Saints offense, at any time, you have Darren Sproles catch a little dump pass for 50 yards. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the difference in the game. Yeah, because we don't know what Harvin's going to do. And he would be a big playmaker. Yep, obviously I'm picking them to have a big game, so we'll see what happens. That's going to be a huge game. That's the kickoff to the divisional uh, round, so that's a hell of a kickoff right there. So uh, thanks for joining us here at Trippy Comms. We have Kyle picking the Saints. We have Breeze. Mike picking the Saints. Yeah. We have Justino Justin picking the Saints. And I'm going out on a limb here, guys. I'm picking the Seahawks. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned uh, for the next game we'll uh, cover, which is going to be the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the New England Patriots. Adios. Peace.